Welcome to this tutorial on using the Scenario Canvas to refine your generated visuals. Scenario lets you have full control to fine-tune every aspect of your images, whether you're in painting with platform models or your custom-trained models. The Canvas is a powerful tool that helps you perfect your image. Whether you want to add final details, remove unwanted elements, or create specific variations, this tutorial will guide you through the process step by step. First, choose the visual you'd like to edit. Simply click Edit Details in the top menu to open the Canvas interface. Alternatively, you can start a new project by selecting Start New from the left menu. Once inside, your image will load, and you can start making adjustments. Make sure the model you want to use is loaded because it will influence the style of all edits you make. The layout has three main parts. On the left side, you'll find all the inference settings and tools, including the model, prompts, reference image, and more. In the center, your image is displayed for editing. A vertical toolbar lets you sketch, erase, mask, or import new elements. On the right, the Layers panel helps you organize your edits. Layers are useful for keeping changes without affecting the previous image. You can reorder, hide, export, or merge them as needed. First, let's begin by adding new elements to the selected visual. One option for adding a new object is to mask the area where you'd like to make the change. Then, enter a prompt to describe the addition, like a wooden bench. Typically, keep the generation influence between 10 and 25, found in the right panel. Once ready, click Generate to create variants within the masked area. Review the outputs and select the ones that best match your expectations. This method is great for quick and simple modifications, where an object can be easily generated within the masked area. If the generated results aren't quite right, a second option is to guide the output by sketching. For this, create a new layer first, then sketch rough shapes, like rocks, logs, or flames for a campfire. Apply a mask to the sketch, then review or adjust the image-to-image -image influence to control how much detail is preserved from your sketch. A range of 20 to 30 is a good starting point, but feel free to adjust it based on how precise or creative you want the results. Basic sketches benefit from a lower influence, while more detailed sketches might require a higher influence, up to 25 to 40, for example. Describe the new object. For example, a crackling campfire. Then generate. Review the outputs and choose the best ones. The in-painted elements are typically style consistent with the rest of your image, ensuring a seamless blend with the existing surroundings. If needed, you can cancel, adjust the sketch or influence settings, and try again. To remove or erase an element, use the color picker to select the surrounding colors and erase the object with the correct tones. Then, apply a mask, adjust the prompt if needed, or leave it empty, and generate new variants. You can select and keep multiple generations, which will be saved as separate layers, allowing you to export or merge them with other layers. This ensures some flexibility when working with multiple elements. You can apply the same approach to character elements as well. This includes making adjustments, such as changing outfits, modifying facial expressions to reflect different emotions, or adding various accessories. You can easily duplicate projects to create separate versions and explore different directions. In a shared workspace, all users can review and edit the projects collaboratively. Don't forget to add your projects to collections for better organization and quicker access. The Scenario Canvas offers advanced features, including support for multi-LoRa models. In the top left, you can adjust the weight of different models within a multi-LoRa setup, allowing for in-painting specific parts to match a style or character. This is ideal for multi-character scenes or refining detailed sections with specifically trained features or styles. For more information on this, watch our video linked in the description. Canvas also includes Scenario Live, 
allowing you to sketch and render edits in real time. So don't forget to check out our other video where we dive into it more. Feel free to explore and experiment with all the features and settings available in Canvas, or check out our other tutorials for more tips. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.